Hello everyone, and welcome back to Nikkei. We have the 3-0 collab event. Of victory. Nikkei. So let's start immediately. Alright, new character, new costume, new costume, new events. Um, I'm just gonna click these so it's not bothering us. I'm not actually gonna read anything. I wanna be surprised. Same with this one. I just don't wanna have that notification top right. So let's close these down. Alright, now we should have daily login. Open up any moment. Um, is there no daily login reward? I don't see one. We do have the gacha. There's no daily login yet? Maybe from tomorrow. Alright, what do we get? Hope you get a lot of mileage out it's our of it. only roll for today. Well, for this event. Because I'm not buying these. It's not worth it. Was it always draw 5? Wasn't it draw 7 before? Hmm. Yeah, it was. It was always the same. Okay, well, it's... It wasn't so fucking pricey, you know. If you look at it, it's so expensive. Anyways, let's check mail. So I redeemed the CD keys that were available. Then we have the maintenance gifts as well and March update gifts. So that's 1600 extra gems. Claim those. All right, let's check out the cash up. We get another hundred from this. Uh, okay. Recipe from you. Uh, these are pricey, not worth. The first one is not too bad, but that will depend on how lucky we get with the pools. If I get both characters, I don't need it. Alright, let's start with this. I'm just gonna start with a simple recruit before I go for the actual pulls. So let's just go for these. Why is it telling me to revise the wishlist? Is there something new I'm missing? Or... No. No. I guess I can replace Senti now with someone else. Go for Jackal. Uh, anyone else I want to replace? No. We're fine. Oh. Alright. I'm no longer alone. I'm so lucky! Find that. Let's go for Nikkei. Advice. Go through the list. I wonder if it's an event with many games and stuff, or if it's just story. I guess we'll see that as well once we enter it. Usually these collab events are like big. Because they take a lot of time. So I'm guessing it's gonna be a three week event. If you're the one drinking it, especially because we have no two new characters, we have the free character that we get, we have costumes. It's like they are going all in on this. Yeah, let's just get the boring stuff out of the way, you know, the daily quests, stuff like that. Then we can focus on the event fully. How about we share some and pools, trying to get a rem. You know. Yep. Right, let's go back. Let's click on D, for example. Oh, wait, not here. Uh, here, U, for example. Sure, upgrade once. All right, claim these two. I should be able to claim this one more time. Let's also go to the outpost. I wonder if they added anything new in the command center. I'm gonna check it out. 
the recollection. Doesn't look like they did. So there's gonna be one event basically without anything new added. That's fine though. Claim that as well. Oh, I didn't do the dispatch. Yeah, my bad. Let's go back and do some dispatching. It's another 40 gems. So we need 140 left for the next part. Okay. Claim that as well. Weekly. We'll be getting another 300 here. We just need to do a few more. I guess we will get that from recruiting Nikes. Alright, so this is the pass. Uh, let's first finish this off now. Um, so we need... Upgrading a Nikkei. No, uh, purchase items in a common shop. I didn't do that one yet. Welcome to the raise and rebuild. Come again if you need anything. Cool. Oh, you it to good. What are you looking for? Just in time, dear client. Buy this, I suppose. So now we are at 24. I'm sure you'll be. Have fun shopping. Um, code manual selection box. Thank you for coming. Get out as well. Does feel great spending money. You can take your time, Commander. Oh, Ram is not available yet. Seems uh -huh. like. I guess she will be available the next week. Let me help you. Uh, which is fine. We can wait on her. But that just means we kind of have to either wait on my pools for Rem or just hope we get Amelia and buy Rem with the pools. That could also work. I mean, I'm, I would do the same regardless, so no matter which one I would pull first. Okay, we get lucky, hopefully. No. Cool. Mission pass, claim those, level 10, 10 of these, we are at 13, we are missing two more, alright, let's go to the arc, claim these, uh, I'll go with the interception first. Try to kill me. It is like seventy percent. That's okay. Oh, why is it not the helmet we need? Come on. How do you like that? I guess this makes me a good luck charm. Nope. Doesn't it? Once again, nothing. All right, and I guess we can check an arena if they added the quick battle yet. Yeah, they did. Finally. Alright, so now we can start doing five battles per. Let's get this show on the road! Why is there loading time if it's a quick battle? The winner is you! Is there still gonna be a loading time? That's the reason why I didn't do it. Ready? There's a loading time. Behold! The season's rising star! 
Now, let the games debut! Trivion performance! Now, let the games debut! I guess it's faster, but come on, it's still taking too long. Trivion performance! Should be like predetermined already. They should know because I have way more power that there's no way I would lose. They should just give me the win automatically. Behold, the season's but it's okay. Start. I did the five. Now it's way easier to get the five every time. I guess that's something. Alright, claim, claim, get the hundred. Nice. Claim, claim. All right, and then we go inventory. We claim this. Cool. No, don't need that. All right, so let's see how lucky we get with Amelia. Not very. Let's do another ten pull. Please be Amelia so I can be done with this. I made soldier F so, so if we see abnormal, that means we got her. So nice. Here we go. My name is Amelia. Alright, cool. So we got Amelia. That means we still have 30 pools saved up for next week when they add RAM. Which is really good, because 30 pools could be good enough for it. Uh, anyways, let's put her into the outpost. She can rest in the synchro device. Where is she? There we go. I've gained a bit more confidence thanks All to right. you. Alright, and let's unlock another slot for the next character. And I know she's on the SR, so we're not gonna be adding the other one. Okay, yeah, the event is showing there, but first what I wanna do is advise. Um can you advise these? It looks like you can. That's surprising. Normally you can't do that. Okay, who do we replace then? Neon doesn't have to be there. So they actually gave her conversations. Because he couldn't do that with Makima. Wherever she is. Makima. Um, whatever. Doesn't matter. But yeah, we just need to click on her here as well. Why is she with the black border? Is she always like that? Anyways, Amelia. There we go. Let's just give her some equipment. She has some power. I have 34.5k just without upgrading anything. Wow, that's crazy. Where does that put her? Eh, pretty far. I mean, Litter is like on a whole another level. Yeah. Almost double. How many do we have these upgrade thingies? We have... Well, that's pretty good. I'm gonna save up a little bit more though. Before we do that upgrade session. Alright, recipe for you. Somewhere up on the surface. Hey now, what do we have here? The collector pulls a book out of the debris. It's been a hot minute since I've been uh, seen a book in such a pristine condition. With a satisfied expression. He brushes off the layer of dust accumulated on the cover, revealing an image of a golden dragon underneath. Hmm, it's tough to determine the value just by looking at it. I'm sure there'll be some interested parties, though. I may have just hit pay dirt. <laughs> With a contented smile, the collector leaves the area. Whoosh. For a brief moment, silence takes over the area. 
which is then bathed in a blinding light. Soon after. Miss Amelia, are you okay? Miss Amelia, are you feeling okay? Ram, Ram, uh, I'm fine. Amelia takes her surroundings. Amidst the swirling puffs of dust, a crumbling city can be seen from afar. Slowly, an unfamiliar landscape reveals itself to Amelia. One unlike anything she has ever seen in Lagunica. Uh, do either of you know where we are? Sorry, I have no memory of this place. Me neither, and it's the first time I've seen buildings designed in such a way. I'm also unsure as to where we are. Maybe somewhere outside of Lagunica? The three of them exchange bewildered expressions. It's none of them can provide an exact answer as to where this place is. Amelia places her hand on the crystal as at her chest and speaks to the hidden great spirit. Do you know what happened, Puck? Mm, I'm not entirely sure either. And I don't know why I'm feeling so tired. I'm sorry, I can be of help, Leah. That's okay, you can just rest inside. Miss Amelia, do you remember what we were doing at last? Yeah, Rem and I were having a lunch and listening to Subaru and then... Uh, sorry, I don't really remember what happened after that. Marriott had a van is vague as well. We were enjoying Subaru's story, and then... Alright then, mystery solved. You were having lunch and in the process of being bored by Barusu's prattling, you passed out. You then came to you and found yourself in a familiar place. Somehow along the way, I got caught up in all this as well. We'll have to give Barusu a piece of our minds when we get back. Come on, Ram. You don't even know f uh, for certain if there's anything to do with Subaru. Miss Amelia is right, sister. Besides, I thought Subaru's story was fantastic and engaging. You must be pulling my leg. Forget about the story for now. Figuring out exactly what's going on here is our top priority. Miss Amelia, sister, I say we make a look around the surrounding area. Sounds like a plan. The sooner we find out what this place is, the sooner we can get back to the mansion. The tree of the tree who appeared with a light start to move forward cautiously. Okay, that's the start of the event. Interesting plot, how they got here. A recipe for you! Okay. So it looks like there's gonna be a co-op event as well. Alright, let's... Oh, login stamp is in here. I see, that's that makes sense. They always put it inside the actual arena. What's contest arena? We have two more pulls, but we'll be saving these for Ram. Um, let me claim these as well. Yeah, so that's gonna be the currency. Mission, claim those. Nice, more currency, challenge. And we got the skin for Amelia. Very nice. There's also the other one for Ram. Okay, cool. There's no way I can run in this What thing. is contest arena? Can There's I enter? No. Uh no. mini game unlocks at uh oh yeah, it is unlocked, but we need to do one five clearance. There's no way I can run in this Alright, and this is the season pass. Which gives you ten extra pulls and a pool skin for RAM. I am thinking about this one. I don't know. Oh, that's a cool, you got a frame for her, like that. Anyways, let's see these missions. Let's start with the co-op event. Never mind, coming soon. So tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow it unlocks. There's no way I can run in this let's start with thing. challenge then. Challenge one. All right, auto. Who shall be the next to fall under my blade? Okay, it's another one of those level locked events, which is fine. Lady left us always on our side. After all that, I deserve a compliment. 
Okay, that is done. I guess let's focus on the story before we go to the shop. And then the mini game after we finish the story. Oh yeah, there's also these that we can collect. So one down here somewhere, if I remember. There's no way I can run in this thing. There's no way I can run in this thing. There's no way I can run in this thing. There's no way I can this? run in this thing. Okay, eliminate us at no forty percent discount. There's no way I can run uh, in this here. thing. So that's the four for today. They are gonna be adding more no over time, of course. Okay, story one. Enter. One one. And auto. Who shall be the next to fall under my blade? All right, that's a start. And now we need to get the hundred percent. So I guess let's remove you. You can count on me. And then we need 40% more, so I guess I'll replace you. Someone call for a maid. Alright, that's a hundred percent. Start. There you are. Why do you summon me? Let me get this straight to the point. Do you remember the D-Wave? I remember. Good. Then I'll keep this short. We've detected a further D-Wave activity caused by a special individual with the codename Gatekeeper. Again? That's right. I would like the contours to go up to the surface and investigate. We're the only ones with an experience dealing with this phenomenon. Very well. In the past two incidents, you encountered beings summoned by the Gatekeeper. There's a high possibility of that occurring this time as well. But be prepared. Extraterrestrial beings may not always be peace-loving. Noted. That about covers it. I'll send you the coordinates shortly. Good luck out there. We've reached our destination. The wind kicks up cloud of dust, obscuring our visibility. Okay, we are here, but... Clearly I'm not the only one who can see the squad. See squad. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. I just focused all my attention on, on my glasses, but I still can't see anything. All I did was make a frowny face. How about comms? Still no signal? Negative. Considering the alpha particle concentration is at 0%, I believe the D-Wave is to blame. I'm sure it is. That's what happened the last two times, after all. Everybody stay on your toes. We don't know what might happen out there. Yeah. Whenever D-Wave is involved, weird happenings are far behind. I wonder what will come off out of this time. I'm actually kind of excited. Excited? Master said it himself. The gatekeeper can summon anything registered in its database, including interstellar ballistic missiles, interstellar ballistic missiles, and interstellar ballistic missiles. When you've got that, who needs anything else? I see you're awfully excited about this whole thing. You bet! I want to see firepower that can pierce the sky! Firepower! Firepower! Call me crazy, but I would much rather not see anything of that sort. Wait a moment. Rappy, assuming the lead position, raises her first fist in the air to stop everyone. There's something there! Rappy points toward an indistinct silhouette vaguely visible through the dust. Hmm, I think it's getting closer. I know an individual's approaching! Commander, please step back! Rappy aims her weapon toward the silhouette. Rappy? There's no harm in being cautious. Amidst the tension, the silhouette finally reveals itself. I'm telling you, I heard a voice speaking in this direction. Stay back, Miss Amelia. These people are not civilians. They are armed. Ram. Okay, Ram. Three young girls emerge from the dust. Two of them have short hair and adopt a defensive stance. Huh? I believe we've found a being summoned by the gatekeeper. They seem rather wary of us. What should we do, Commander? Let's try talking to them. Okay, I'll give it a shot. As Anise motions to step forward, Rappy stops her. Not now. We'll have to talk later. Good grief. What time in? Commander, a group of raptures are approaching from the left. Per er, permission to engage? Permission granted. Roger! Encounter! K 
can't get these clothes dirty. So let's see Amelia. What does she have? Is that like a rocket launcher? Oh no, it's a yeah, it's a rocket launcher. Okay. Cool. I don't know. Not sure. Now it's hot spring time. Dang, this bunch is more persistent than uh, usual. Be careful, enemy reinforcements. Nice, Neon, secure positions. No, we cannot stand by and do nothing. Ram, ram, we should help. If they were bad people, they wouldn't have uh, protected us by fighting those things. I agree with Miss Amelia. I don't think those people intend to harm us. Very well, however, we mustn't let us let our guard down. I'll take the lead. Go with you. Ram, take the rear. Okay, Ram, make sure you protect Miss Amelia. Be careful as well, Ram. Alright, let's go. All clear. Thank you for helping. You're not hurt, are you? Rap instinctively raises her weapon and sighs and lowers it. No, we're the ones who should be grateful. Thanks to you, we can take a brief breath now. That was some amazing firepower you've got. Especially you with the blue hair. Ram, was it? You were amazing. What was that crazy looking weapon you had? It looks super sharp. Every time you swung it, it blew raptures to smithereens. Wham, pow. Uh, are you talking about this? It's just an iron ball for the self-defense. And an iron ball really have that fantastic firepower? Ram, you're really amazing. You have a keen eye. Right? My sister is both cute and strong in equal measure. On top of that, she excels at cleaning, doing laundry, cooking and sewing. You flatter me, sister, but I have no hopes of ever competing with you. Rude. Your sister firepower is even more impressive. Have any of you seen the gatekeeper by any chance? Gatekeeper? Niece, you might need to explain a few things first. Think so? I'll explain. We go over the situation with the gatekeeper in great detail to Amelia and her group. But those mm, mabeads that we fought are called ra- Those things are, that ambushed us, what do, you, what do you call them again? Raptures. So one of these raptures called the gatekeeper is what brought us here? Bingo, you got it! So not only are we not in Lun Lagunica, but we are in an entirely different world altogether? It's almost impossible to believe. I get it, but considering the current situation, I would say we don't have much choice but to accept it. Back to our initial question. Have any of you seen a gatekeeper? That was our first time ever seeing one of these raptures. I don't ever recall seeing uh, this gatekeeper thing you were talking about. How about where you ended up when you first arrived? Was there anything that would potentially be a clue leading to a gatekeeper? When we woke up, there was nothing around us. No noticeable traces left behind anything either. Sorry, we know that's not much of a help. Don't worry. This isn't the first time we've got, gone through something like this. If anything, it would be weird if uh, it went all smoothly. I don't think we'll be getting much more information here, Commander. I suggest returning to the Ark for now. Yeah, let's go back. I'll protect you. I did good, right? Interesting story so far. I mean, it's basically gonna be the uh, same story every time, but like always, there's like a little bit of a, a different plot. I like that. Now it's hot spring time. I wonder what is it with a cafe? Why, why are they gonna be opening one? They have spoken with our interdimensional visitors, but they haven't had any interactions with the gatekeeper. Correct. How was their demeanor? They were cooperative. I'm glad. Our only problem lies with the gatekeeper. Was any D-wave detected while we were up on the surface? If so, we were able to determine the source. I was actually going to tell you about that. 
uh, been we are detecting the waves from a different location this time around. Very precisely. Hmm. When I first called you, I thought we could solve this problem by finding the gatekeeper on the surface and waking it up from its sleep. However, this time something strange has happened. What do you mean? We're detecting D wave inside the arc and in very strong concentrations. Huh? Be precise. We're picking up signals from the mansion located on Royal Road. The owner is a food connoisseur who writes the food magazine Perfect Cooking. He's also known for purchasing abandoned items collected up on the surface for a hefty price. What kind of items? The central government speculates that one of the items they recently purchased may have been something uh, conjured up from the gatekeeper's dream. Another thing to note is that the D wave emanating from that location is pointing in a specific direction. If we want to get to the bottom of this, we need to do some digging. And in order to do that, we need to get our hands on that item. Why don't the central government go and confiscate it? If it were up to me, that's precisely what we'd do. But there's only one problem. This connoisseur has been making substational donations to medical organizations for some time. And he's acquired no small amount of influence within the Ark. If the central government were to intervene prematurely, we could end up accidentally leaking the existence of D-Wave to the outside world. And that is something we should avoid. So, with that being said, I'm hoping that you can go retrieve the item for us. What am I supposed to do? Sneak into the mansion and steal it? Not at all. If security over there was that lax, we could have we would have pilfered it long ago. What then? The man regularly holds a cooking competitions at this I mansion. During these competitions, he awards one of the items he has collected as a prize to the winner. Each team will consist of three people. Win the competition and bring back the item that triggers D Wave as a prize. It's the only way to obtain the item without raising suspicion from the outside world. Hmm. I'm not quite sure I follow. I've seen, uh, I've already arranged for a spot in the competition. Each team will consist of three people. Once you get back, pick out your team and submit your application. If it's you and the counters, I'm sure you'll be able to succeed. How in the world do I get myself into these situations? I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave. I have an important meeting soon. Huh? Ah, you've got this. Looking forward to hearing good news from you. Thanks, Anderson. All right, next mission. They are as candles, the better burnt out. All right, you all are next. Reloading. The hour of retribution draws near. After all that, I deserve a compliment. They are as candles, the better burnt out. Must be I'm going as fast as I can! Alright, you all are next! Oh, come on, So, in order to find a way back to Luganika, we have to obtain a special item from that mansion? Have we seen that item before? Very likely. To get that item, we have to win the cooking contest. We have to win the cooking contest to get back to Roswell? What a weird situation! Glad I'm not the only one who finds this all cuckoo bananas. How in the world are we supposed to win a cooking competition? I have a hard time just boiling water. What about you, Neon? I haven't delved much into it myself, but I've got a trick up my sleeve. What's that? Everyone knows fire is a vital part of cooking, so with my powerful firepower... In other words, you haven't cooked either. And you're happy? Mm, to be perfectly honest, Commander, I don't think we stand much of a chance of winning this competition. Yeah, it would be easier to just break through the security and steal the thing. That sounds more appealing to me as well. Or, what if we go to the observatory and try to ascertain the origin of these waves? We might be able to pinpoint the gatekeeper's location, like we did before. 
Concentration of the waves is being detected and the arc is too strong. They are apparently interfering with detection equipment up on the surface. In other words, we've got no choice but to retrieve whatever the item is from the mansion. Uh, why do it have to be cooking? What is the competition anyway? I think this will be a challenging task. Don't worry about it. Being put up by others is kind of our thing. Yeah, this is our job. Anyway, what is the competition? The details are on the application form. Looks like we apply here. Neon turns around to her tablet. On which the application form is shown. The ultimate cooking contest extravaganza. What's this? We're talking about cooking competition. When is it? Let's see. According to this, today this? Next week? Neon, get ready. We're infiltrating the mansion straight away. We got it. We'll use our firepower to bust out their defenses. You guys can help too. It's time for you and I to use our firepower again, Rem. Calm down, please. Is there no way we can get in that item? I never thought I'd say this, but I would actually agree with them. Even you're happy. You're happy. If you want to find a way to buy back to Lagunica, we've got to win this cooking competition. That's right. But you all don't seem to be good at cooking. And why don't we enter the cont uh, contest instead? I know how to cook. Rem is also in charge of cooking back at the mansion. The food she prepares is always delicious. It's not that impressive. Rem? Don't be silly. Cooking is Rem's job. I'm in charge of taste testing. Uh huh. Well, they are mates after all, so they've got at least a better. Uh, got to be better than us. What do you guys think? I feel bad for throwing this all in their lap, but I think it's our only real shot of winning the competition. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. And if you all don't mind, I'll write down your names on the application. Got it. It's also to our benefit with this thing, so we'll try our best. Great, that's the spirit. I write down three names on the application. Rem, Amelia, and Rem. I trust that you'll win. The application has been submitted. Now we just have to wait until the day of the competition. May I ask where the kitchen is? It's inside. May I use it for a moment? done so much to help us, so I want to make uh, you something to thank you. I also want to do some practice before the competition, so... You don't have to do all that for us. Oh, extraterrestrial cuisine! This is one of a kind opportunity, master. We barely use the kitchen anyway, so we might as well let them borrow it. It won't hurt anything. It's a bit unusual to have you get your guests serving you food, but okay. The kitchen is all yours. Thanks, I'll see if I can uh, what I can whip up. My food is gonna be good. It will make you see stars. You stay right there. Amelia scoots off into the kitchen. Fuck I'm dead, Ram. Okay, Ram. I'm going to help Miss Amelia then. Ram follows after Amelia. Alright. And now the ending cutscene. Well, after this fight. And then, depending on how it goes tomorrow, we'll finish off the event. You are next. You are out of harm's way. In fact, I might even do it today after the daily reset, depending on how the time goes. It's tomorrow is Dragon's Dogma time, and I kind of want to have a free day for that. After all that, I deserve a compliment. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? For a while now, strange sounds have been emanating from the kitchen. Miss Amelia, I don't mean to cause offense, but what do you just put in there? Ram, didn't you know? Doing it this way allows you to cook for a lot of ingredients at once. But what are the taste? Purple smoke begins to slowly seep from the kitchen. No, Miss Amelia, you should add a seasoning bit, bit, bit by bit while tasting it along the way. No worries, I'll just counteract it with more of this. Uh, now we've got to do is boil it. Should I use this to adjust the heat? Aya! The smoke from the kitchen becomes thicker. Is everything okay in there? Rem's in there, so it should be fine. At the very least, it should be edible. Huh? A moment later. Finito! Enjoy it! I wasn't sure what everyone's preferences were, so I made a bit of this and that. 
Hope you enjoy it. Amelia and Rem each bring out the food that they prepared individually. The table is soon filled with a cornucopia of homemade desserts, including cookies, pies, and a massive bowl filled with a sticky purple liquid. Huh. I don't even know what to say. Right off the jump, I've got to ask, what's up with the purple stuff? I didn't know it was possible to make a soup this color. D did I make too much? It's not quantity that's the issue. Well, there's a bit of a problem with quantity too. Usually the only stuff we see in that looks like this is Emma's cooking. It's Emma. Anyway, this is my own special creation. So again. Amelia offers the soup she made to everyone. Like I said before, you've done so much for us, Commander. So I'll give you the honor of trying it out first. Yeah, what she said. Rat P avoids making eye contact with me. They did go through all this effort to make it for us. Close my eyes and try the soup. Huh? Contrary to its unappetizing appearance, it's actually not terrible. It is, however, cloyingly sweet, to the point where I can feel a slight headache coming in. It's very sweet. Yeah, too sweet. I can feel myself forming cavities just to eat it. I feel like my head's spinning. Hmm? Rem and I were looking through the ingredients in the kitchen. I thought the purple fruit uh, had much pretty color to it and tasted sweet, so I put a lot uh, in. May I ask how much you put in? There was quite a lot. Healthy amount? I tossed in all that was available. I figured the more tasty things you put in, the better the soup will be. You put in every last one you found? No wonder the soup came out this color. In addition to that, I used a whole bunch of other ingredients. So there should be plenty of nutrients in there. There are all sorts of goodies in there, so eat up. I mean, there's more. Well, I look back towards the kitchen to see several more large bowls filled with the same purple soup. Why do you make so much? And where do you get all those bowls anyway? I believe none of you have had a meal yet, right? Don't worry about not having enough bowls. I made a lot of ice bowls at the backup. What? How? Shift my focus to the sweets that Rum baked. Crunch. Rum's desserts are not only visually flawless, but also divine in texture, aroma, and taste. Delicious. It's wonderful. This pie is to die for. Naturally, Rum made it after all. I brewed some tea I meant to go with Rum's cooking. Enjoy! Especially brewed. Matter, may I have a word? Rappy leans in and whispers in my ear. I think we need to find another way to retrieve the item. If we could go the cooking route, I don't think our chances of success are all that high. Huh. The bowl of purple soup sits before me defiantly. I think you may be right. The taste isn't the only thing that the judges will be critiquing. They will also be considering the appearance, texture and aroma. In that regard, Emilia's cooking leaves a bit to be desired. But Ram seems to be capable in the kitchen. Uh, if we have Amelia and Ram act only as assistants, we might still have a shot. They insist. Ouch, our application got accepted. Apparently, we can't make any changes to it once we submit it. Neon turns around her tablet. On the screen is the application form for the cooking contest we filled out earlier. Stamped across the application in bold, red lettering are the words application approved. Uh oh, Commander, did you read the fine print on the application? What fine print? There's a bunch of it at the very bottom of the page. This contest will assume a time-based format wherein each individual on a team will take turns before submitting a final dish. Please note that the order to, uh, you know, that the order in which the contestants will cook be determined based on the order their names were written on the application. Ram, Amelia, and Rem. Hmm. Anise, Neon, get ready! Infiltrating the mansion. Wait, wait. We can keep that back uh, in our back pocket, but there's still some time left until the competition. Are you saying there's another way? Hmm. Amelia, Ram, and Ram, come here for a moment and let's take a look at this. What's wrong? I showed them the fine print written on the complication. The contest is carried out in a very specific manner. Never cooked in this way. Will it be okay? Heard cooking duties with sister before, but this is taking turns think is first for me as well. This could be a bit of a challenge. Until the competition comes around, you can all practice. 
Is cooking in mean? I know just the people who can help. Field changed. Soda and Kikoa are making plans for upcoming performance. The cafe guest interest seems to be peaked. Link to the field now doesn't use any tickets. Minor field changes will not be notified individually. Go to field now. Okay. Get lost relics. A lot of X. Alright, so we are done with the story, right? Yeah, we are done with this, okay. Let's go for the shop first and then we'll try the event. Oh my god. I click back instead of back. Alright, the shop. There's no way I can run in this thing. Okay, what do we buy first? I say... Actually, no, I need to do this first. Lame. And shop again. Buy two tickets. Minigame. Master, welcome back! Here, let me get you some ketchup, Master. Wait! Soda needs my help, but the service bell keeps ringing. Professional made, so I can do this. Kikoa, Soda, the customers are waiting. So tired. Me too. Good night. It was a hard day, everyone. Ah. <laughs> we can keep this up. You both deserve some rest. How about you two take a few days off? Huh? What about the cafe? Luckily, we got ourselves some helpers. They will be arriving tomorrow. Helpers? They have mastered all the basics. Don't worry about it. Enjoy our R&R. &R, both of you. Who are these helpers? L. 380. To order. Oh, ready to order. Alright. Serve the food ordered by the customers within the waiting time. You can receive high satisfaction scores after successfully serving the food ordered. You will still receive satisfaction scores if you serve the food they did not order. If the food is not served within the waiting time, a portion of the satisfaction scores you have for received will be deducted. Amelia, Ram, and Ram will appear to serve food to the customers. The number of maids that can be deployed differ, uh, differs according to the difficulty. Each maid has a basic stamina, which decreases or increases when they do certain actions. Serving food and cleaning will consume part of their stamina. You will not be able to deploy a maid for a certain period of time if her stamina is depleted. Return to the starting position or play the event game to recover their stamina. Customers who enter Maid Cafe will start ordering after sitting down. Before the food is served, the customer will wait for some time. Their next action will be determined based on whether the food is served or not. When the food is served, you will receive satisfaction scores and the customer leaves after eating the food. If the food is not served, your current satisfaction score will be deducted and the customer leaves after expressing their dissatisfaction. You can get extra scores if the food is served by the maid designated by the customer. Customers will request special orders. If their order is correctly served, it will trigger an event game. You can get extra scores and uh, recover the maid stamina through the event game. This is where the foods ordered by the customers are prepared. The number of uh, orders exceeds the number of cooking slots, an icon will appear in the production queue. If the customer who made an order leaves, you can dispose of their food. You can receive satisfaction scores by serving food and cleaning. Satisfaction scores you will receive will serve as the criterion for the rewards you get from the daily rewards and daily missions. Helpful effects at the, in the game will be triggered when you reach a certain number of scores. Your level increases along with the accumulation of satisfaction scores. Designated beneficial effects will be activated when you reach a certain level. Okay, so we have easy, normal and hard. But we need proficiency for those first, okay. That's the guide. 
This is how you get the proficiency. You get extra stats. And union rank, it doesn't matter. And this is the daily reward. We need 500 points. And every day we get 30. That's cool. And there's some extra rewards. Uchi Uchi Omiris. I want that. I want to keep that. Alright. And challenge. Pretty good ones. another gift or yeah okay let's start i suppose let's try it out Welcome, master. what do i do Okay, catch up. We did 2500. This is pretty good. Would I have to gr uh, grind this more or. So I need a proficiency tree to even do that difficulty. So how do I get this? Is it just by mastering proficiency fully? 10k for max rank? That's not too bad. I guess that should be like four games. Okay, but like, yeah, we can claim these. Oh, 5k in one round. I guess we'll get more later on. And then we need 40k total for the f entire thing. Alright, let's do one more. Welcome, Master.
Yeah, 2600. That was pretty good. That means we leveled up the first time. So we got all three of these. Seems like, yeah. So you don't like buy them for points or something, you just get them. So extra food making slot. So that will actually make it harder, right? Because we have two slots for making. So we'll have to be running way more. And we unlock the normal. Which we'll be playing next time since we already finished our daily reward. Let me clean these. Well, event so far. Uh, not the best one. I like the cooking the skewers more and stuff. You know, where you like skewered things and then you made those. That was fun. But overall, it's pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, Commander, I, didn't, come talk I didn't claim the rewards like for the battle pass. Let me do that. And then I'm gonna call it. Alright. Uh, claim. Claim. There we go. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.